Hi, my name is Grant Nisley. I'm Emily Parker. My name is Teresa Alvarado. Hi, my name is Don Dressen. I'm Tyrone Turner. Hi, I'm Julie Markham. Hi, I'm Nick Phelps. I'm Phil Paris. Hi, my name is Alyssa Yang Castillo. I graduated in 2012 with my undergraduate degree in public policy and political science and graduated in 2013 with my master's of public policy. We're here today at the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., where I work as a senior research assistant in the Economic Studies program. And day to day, I do economic policy research on a broad range of uh, different economic issues. I actually had an internship summer 2011. I was in D.C. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and then when I was looking for jobs, I knew this was my top choice for where I wanted to work, and everything fell into place. My profession has changed many times since I graduated from the University of Denver, and I'm still able to apply what I studied, which is film video production, digital media studies, and storytelling. At some point, you've got to take that leap of faith and pursue your passion. So for me, that was starting a nonprofit organization called Code Red Films. So to be able to use what I learned and studied at DU to actually serve others and make a difference and shine a light on some horrific human rights uh, violations around the globe, DEU really provided the platform through their International Service Learning Program for me to pioneer some new paths internationally. I graduated from DU in 2008 with a Bachelor in Math and I now work at North Glen High School as a math teacher. I think one of the things I carry with me into my own classroom is the, I guess the way my professors treated me. They treated me like an adult, they always made time for me, they gave me the opportunity to be successful and I really try and do that with my students. DU prepared me for corporate America. So right now I'm responsible for the uh, software sales organization for the Rocky Mountain region for um, IBM Corporation. My MBA allowed me to be put in a position uh, of leadership very early in my career. It was important to have an environment where you could uh, stretch your mind, you know, stretch your interest, understand the possibilities. I'm currently studying at Harvard to earn a PhD in biophysics. I think there are on average uh, 12 people per year admitted out of maybe an applicant pool of 200. Well, I'd say that my education at DU made me a very well-rounded scholar, potential scholar. I really think that it provided a strong foundation for my education now. It really gave me um, a good basis in the sciences and physics and in chemistry, my knowledge there as well as how to interact in a lab setting. That's really been an area that I thought DU excelled at. I am on a Fulbright grant in the United Kingdom studying technology entrepreneurship and working on my own company. I think one experience at DU that really helped me discover my passion was to be able to have an understanding and the ability to work in microfinance. So first I applied for a Partners in Scholarship grant and was able to spend a summer working in Bangladesh with the Grameen Bank. And then I came back and the university had just started a microfinance program where they partnered with the Deutsche Bank. And through this Deutsche Bank program and partnership, I was able to go into the field in Cambodia. And I think that that gave me the real life skills of seeing the impacts that I could be having and kind of led me into this path of working in as a social entrepreneur. I graduated in 2009 with a business degree specializing in hospitality management. I am a co-founder and vice president of From the Farmer. We are a Washington DC based uh, home delivery service of fresh seasonal and local produce. My business partner, Jason, uh, and I both met at DU. And so for me, turning my passion, which is local food, which is hiring great people, which is building a community, which I'm proud of and that I can be humbly a member of, that's been the greater purpose that's come from this. I worked with the computer science department through their cooperative education office, which allowed me to go take time off of school every other quarter. I'm gonna work at NASA. So I was also part of the Pioneer Leadership Program uh, here at DU. At NASA, I work in our flight planning and operations group, um, and basically that group does a lot of different aspects of flight planning, like the name says. Um, they develop the schedules for the astronauts on board the International Space Station. Um, we also um, help with development of all our web tools that we use in Mission Control. I'm currently a fourth year medical student at the University of Colorado. 
I've always had a passion for science and medicine, anatomy, um, but what really makes the difference in patients' lives is bringing that medicine and making it relatable to them. During my sophomore year, I chose to pursue one of the international service learning trips um, known as Project El Salvador, and that was really transformative for me. It taught me a lot about the struggles that low-income patients face, and that's something that's been really crucial in directing me towards my career in medicine uh, for low-income and Spanish-speaking populations. I feel like that's one of the things DU gifts their students is a deeper ability for scientific inquiry and learning how to apply that in a way that makes a difference in people's lives. I'm very proud to be a University of Denver alumni. The small atmosphere was able to really help me flourish. I think I got a lot of personalized and individual attention. DU has a plethora of resources that I was able to take advantage of. So I would say, yeah, don't be afraid, take risks, follow your passion, and uh, get out there and pioneer something new.